This week, many colleges and universities celebrated First Generation College Day, honoring those students who are the first in their families to receive a higher education. So this, of course, is a milestone for many families, bringing to fruition their ancestors' wildest hopes and dreams. But it's also bringing to light some pretty severe inequalities in higher education. So, for example, the Pew Research Center found that only 20 percent of adults whose parents do not have a college degree attain a bachelor's of their own. That number jumps to 60 percent when at least one parent has a bachelor's. So here to talk about their experiences are Cindy Cintron, a student at the Catholic University of America, and Chelsea Jones, associate of the I'm First initiative. She's also a first-generation college grad. Ladies, first, I have to thank you so much for spending time with us. We really appreciate you being here. And Chelsea, I'd like to start with you. You know, why did you decide to go to college? I think about my own father, who was the first in his family to go to college, and it changed our stars for our entire family and generations to come. So what showed you and taught you that this was also a possibility for you? Absolutely. That's a great question. Um, I would say my grandmother, she was always adamant about me going to college. While she didn't go to college herself, she was always, she always told me, you're going to go to college. I don't know how we're going to pay for it, but you're going to get there. So she was a, a huge driving force and sort of my motivation to go to college, as well as me being a part of a um, college access program uh, within my community that really showed me that college was an opportunity. You know, I want to turn to you, Cindy, too, because more than four in 10 Latino students are the first to attend college in their family. So, Cindy, you identify as Afro-Latina. How did that affect your experience when you got there? I mean, did you feel like there were a lot of people there who understood your experiences and did you face any challenges? Yeah, at my university, there are a lot of first-generation Latino students, but the rest of the Catholic population at my university is not Afro-Latina or Latina, and so then those students, I couldn't really connect with specifically, but I did have a strong first-generation community at my university, luckily to a program that they started to call Take Flight, and so many of us have similar stories, and that was where really who gave me a community to help me grow at the university and figure out how to go about the whole college process. Which is interesting because I think our entire country right now is really rethinking what access and inclusion looks like. It feels like we're in a moment of a national conversation, right? I mean, would you agree? And, and what's interesting is that free community college specifically has been a topic in Washington, but it's not actually in the human infrastructure bill right now. So if you could talk to Congress, what would you tell them about the doors that higher education open for you, Chelsea? Absolutely. Um, it it's interesting because we're we're in this space where we tout the need of um, you know graduate degrees and bachelor's degrees, but we're also not providing the resources for students to get there. And, and I'm talking financial. So it's it's my hope, and and it's a lot of folks' hopes that you know, kind of the, 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 the talk that we have around higher education and, and having students pushing students toward that space will be followed by the financial backing and the financial support. Um, a lot of students want to go to college, even if it's a community college. Community college education is awesome. It's great. And it can be beneficial for an yeah. entire generation Amen. of a family. But when you don't provide those resources, when you take two-year education off the table, it kind of leaves students in the dust and sort of asking, well, now what? Which is a great question because we see that not only just in terms of getting into college, but also getting into internships and getting your first Absolutely. job out of college. All those Absolutely. things takes resources, require resources that people don't often, you know, really acknowledge. So, Cindy, final question for you. You know, what about the younger people who are coming after you? I mean, what would you say to others who may be the first in their family to one day go to college? I would definitely tell all the young students out there that it is work and it is dedication, but it is the process that you need to go through if that's what you are looking to do to get a job that you want to work hard for in the future. College is definitely one of the main routes that, into getting into that. And finding a community and a support system to help, to help you through that is so important. And it'll, it's what's going to get you through the whole process. Chelsea Jones, Cindy Sintron, thank you so much for taking time and sharing your experiences because your experiences are meaningful and you did it, ladies. We are so proud of you. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you, thank so, you much. so much.